you're here for your podcast, yes. so let's start by talking a little bit about that. What was it that made you want to start a podcast? Um, the fans on social media harassed us <laughs> for a long time, and we just decided to give it another go. And we you know, are now with iHeart, and it's just been a really, really incredible experience. I'm not saying that because I'm here with iHeart, but it's been really fun. We were a little worried about doing it, and we've just had a blast being able to reconnect with cast members and especially crew members who don't normally get given a platform to talk about their experience working on a show. And there are hundreds of people every single day putting this thing together. And that's been a really, really gratifying part that we didn't really expect going into it. It must be a really interesting experience to go back and, and revisit all of that as well. Yeah. And I think for, like for us, if we're out, we get stopped every day. And so it's always there. And I think for other people where that doesn't happen to them, and they've gone on and crew members are working multiple shows all year round. And so for them, it's also a chance to you know, talk about this thing that was such a special and unique experience for all of us, regardless of what we go, what we've done before or after that. It was really a special moment in time, and we were very, very close through on screen and off screen. Yeah. Does a particular scene or a particular episode stand out to you from Glee as just the most memorable or the favorite? Um, I think it changes over time because there's been like memes that have happened you know, in 2023 that they weren't happening 10 years ago. So I, don't, I always say my favorite episode is an episode called Blame It on the Alcohol, where the kids were drinking and getting wild because we sort of did that in real life and got in trouble, and that's what that episode's about. So season two, there's a lot of, you know, episodes about us in real life. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, so much of that show is relatable, too, right? I mean, yeah. it just... It, what about a favorite musical number? Ooh. Um, because I was actually listening to it on the way here, I think I would say the rumor has it Someone Like You mashup with Maya and Amber. I think that was top. So that's got to be like a top five, top three ever. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So nice to talk to you. You too.